Clive Palmer's attack on the Greens was the talk of the town in Canberra today as well. The mining magnate has backtracked on his claim that Green groups in Australia are operatives for the CIA, but as George Roberts reports, the idea did inject a little intrigue and mirth into the day's politics in Canberra. Morning fog shrouds the halls of power, but who knows what's going on behind closed doors. One man suspects he does. If they're being funded by an offshore political power, it's, it's tantamount to treason. We care about this country. It's under attack by foreign interests. Clive Palmer thinks America's top spy agency has been shelling out cash to green groups, funding a covert attack on Australia's mining industry. They're going to take journalists like you and, uh, and mislead you. See you later. Bye. And with that, a fresh foreign minister had an international embarrassment to deal with. You're going to have investors thinking, woo, what's this? I mean, who is this guy? And someone's going to tell them that he's the number one donor to Tony Abbott. <laughs> Look, he's a character. And he isn't backing the claims of treason. And of course the Greens want to stop the coal industry. I don't think they needed any CIA influence, though, <laughs> to give them that position. For their part, the Greens deny any spy games. You know, this is the loopy end of um, the public discourse. And a CIA spokesman told the ABC... <laughs> simply put, these allegations are false. For the record, we didn't meet the spokesman on a park bench. The modern spy agency sent an email instead. But the federal government's not taking allegations of international espionage as likely. The leader of the opposition should be calling Mr Palmer and giving him a dressing Order down the for his general sort of behaviour. And he can use his shoe phone if he thinks that's a better idea. Clive Palmer's now distanced himself from himself, or at least some of his more dramatic claims. George Roberts, ABC News, Canberra.